Hello, I'm Kim Sauer at Southern Manufacturing in uh, Farnborough. I'm joined today by Andy Thwaites from Dynamic EMS. Andy, great to see you here at this UK show. Mm -hmm. um, now, you're a UK-based EMS company. Let's talk a little bit about the, um, the trends you're seeing on the EMS uh, level in, in, in the industry. What are you noticing? Okay, good question, Kim. Um, well, to be honest, when you look at the UK, you've got to consider what's going on globally as well. And uh, people are constantly looking for new low-cost regions and uh, the pressure in that area is ongoing. People are considering Vietnam, um, India and so on uh, for low cost. Um, the pressure in the UK is still there to uh, be competitive with that. Whilst that is um, of, of importance, we actually as an organisation have experienced significant growth in the last few years, um, particularly in the industrial sector. Um, our business has grown 26% in uh, 2014 and 8% in 2015 and this year we're set for probably about another 10% growth on the business, which is, which is all good stuff. Mm -hmm. So you've mentioned the industrial growth and, and, uh, and that's great. There's probably also some other traditional um, high-tech industries that are quite strong and show growth potential in the UK. Are there others that you, you can see as growth areas? Yes, yes. I mean, um, to talk about growth, we also need to talk about some of the downturns. So within um, Dynamic, we traditionally are very good in the oil and gas sector, and that has been a significant slowdown, as everyone knows that. Um, we now have uh, branched out into uh, commercial aviation, uh, medical, um, it's at markets we know and we serve and we've got a lot of experience in. Um, last year we added two new customers uh, to our customer base um, and that was, that was uh, you know, nice, to, nice to have in a, a year where we were experiencing such growth. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the EMS market in the UK and outside in Europe, for example, is very competitive. How do you differentiate yourself in that very competitive environment? Yes, good question. We, um, we very much uh, believe in customer service being at the forefront of our business. It's deeply embedded in our culture. Um, we also uh, are test 100% of our products, so uh, quality is absolutely key. And at the end of the day, uh, we are looking to do business with customers that want sustainable business in the UK, and we're passionate about manufacturing in the UK. Historically, uh, Dynamic EMS it actually comes from an OEM background. So is that a key strength when you're talking to your customers and bringing the knowledge and the experience that you have from, from your past into actually yeah. producing for them now? Absolutely, yeah. We've come from a background of being an OEM. Um, and that means that we really know and understand what it feels like to look at potentially outsourcing your business. Um, quite often, it's, I would say it's a bit like giving someone your baby to look after. Uh, you very much have to look after that, that, that baby and babysit it all the way through. Key uh, elements for us are communication. Um, we always assign key account managers to mm -hmm. our customers and they, um, they s streamline the, fl the flow of data backwards and forwards. And we have regular controlled um, QBRs and uh, quality business reviews to ensure that those, you know, everything is running to track. Mm -hmm. Now, particularly at shows like these here in Farnborough, Southern Manufacturing and other activities you're doing, visibility is key. And you've gone through a, a recent rebrand, you've got a new website. What really drove that development to, to, to refresh dynamic EMS? So I joined the company in 2013 and um, we looked at, myself and John Dignan, the MD, looked at the collateral and the image of the company and I think most people would be, it would be fair to say that uh, people probably wouldn't have engaged with us looking at what we had out there. So um, using my experience from uh, basically the global EMS market, uh, we looked at 
completely transforming the image so that people would uh, see and recognize the brand. And what we want to do is get ourselves uh, better known uh, as a uh, international contract manufacturer. When I say international, we are dealing with blue chip companies and exporting to Europe and North America and further afield. So uh, whilst we may be only manufacturing in the UK, um, we're actually dealing with global corporates. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, um, I wish you great success with that and thank you very much for your time today. Yeah, thank you.